Good morning. Um, today is the day of Capcom Next, where we will be getting a showcase of Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster, which I'm very excited for, and so is the Dead Rising community. Everyone is very excited for it, but a little bit on edge. There are certain things that we want to see. There are certain things that we don't want to see. There is a bingo card that was made for it. I'll put that up on screen. Um, I'm hoping that a lot of the things don't get ticked, especially that there is a new soundtrack. I really hope they keep the original soundtrack. We've got the countdown here now. This is... This is Dead Rising. Let's get into it. I timed that well. Oh no, 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 it's not Dead Rising. It's just the, it's just going through all the games. So while that one plays, I'm going to be talking about Dead Rising. I really hope that there is a, I really hope the soundtrack is the same. I hope that we get a showcase of the Dead Rising Psychopaths. I don't have the bingo card with me, so I can't look at it as I'm reacting to it, but I will have it on screen, so... Let's play along at home. Um, one of them was that the Dead Rising soundtrack would be changed. I really hope it doesn't, um, but it could go either way. It's really, yeah, like it could be changed. It could be the same. I'm really hoping that it stays the same and they can get the licensing for Life Seeker, Hostile Groove, Lockjaw, all those bands that were in it because it's nostalgic and it's as we all remember. So please don't change that. Another thing was that the entire entrance plaza would be playing, like where Madonna and Susie ruin the world. Another one was that we get to see one psychopath, or at least one psychopath. I hope that we do. I hope that we either see the convicts, or it's just like a cutscene from later in the game. I don't know how far they've gone through like the development of this game, but it'll be interesting to see what the look for it is here, and what they showcase, and what they want to show off. So with this game at least, it says that there is a demo version available and I'm wondering if they will do that for Dead Rising, if they'll put it up on like the PlayStation or Xbox store and that'll also be very interesting because Stippo is very well known in the Dead Rising community uh, for going into the game's files. So if he can, I don't know how, but somehow get into the files of the demo version, I'm sure he'll be looking at what's new, what's different, that's the same thing. What's new, what's the same, and when the final game comes out, you'll probably compare those. Not to put any ideas in your head, Stippo, I don't want to talk on your behalf, but yeah, it really will be interesting to see if they do a demo release of this, and if somehow we can dig into the files of it, because yeah, we're all very excited for it, but I think we're all a little bit on edge, so hopefully, hopefully everything goes well. First, take a look at the trailer. Of which one? Dead Rising, here we go. Oh shit, this is the trailer we've already seen. <laughs> All right. Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. Oh my God, I forgot his name, but that's cool to see him. And gameplay, okay. There is so much to go through. The zombies look pretty sweet. Yes, we got Brad. Oh, Madonna looks like an actual dog! <laughs> oh, there is so much to go through. Holy shit. Is there a reflection on that? Do you get to move with the guns? It doesn't look like you can. <laughs> Wait. We get Joe! Alright! Steven? Adam? Holy shit! This is so many more! Whoa, Larry looks completely different! Carlito? Holy shit, that was awesome! What you just witnessed is we got to see like four or five psychos. All right. Thinking, okay, now I'm now I'm on the hype train for it. The, new specs allow the, game to the controls look a lot smoother. FPS. That's good. The controls in the first game to today's standards are quite clunky. There we go. Awesome. All right, that's something we were asking for. So that's cool. What's the explosion? The explosion looks pretty cool. Multiple saves. Thanks to popular demand, we've added an auto save feature. Okay. Fine-tune the user interface. We've also made yes, NPC behavior was something. Oh, Natalie! Wait, why is she not on the roof of the mall? Oh, there she is. Okay. And we got a. The steps. The steps. Awesome. If you've played the original, rest assured that its core remains unchanged in this. I really hope that's true. Oh. All right. That was kind of cool. 
We kept the fundamental gameplay the same while improving upon the user experience. With this, wait, was that a fast forward feature? Veterans and new original game was released. Hey, I wonder if those paint effects are gonna be in the bathroom. With Dead Rising Deluxe Remastered. I will, I will definitely do a mirrors in Dead Rising comparison when the release comes, when the uh, remake comes out. And thanks to nearly two decades of technological advancements, we were able to accomplish a lot. Why is everyone's hair gray? There's something that's strange about me. It's very like it's a very bright example, game, Resident and everyone Evil looks like they're Capcom's like going gray. We, were able to focus on well. we get Jeff and Natalie. There were people in the Discord saying that they hope to see him. Holy shit! The face, the face looks really good, and I was really hoping to see Adam. I was like, he'll never show up. That's really awesome. And the lighting, the lighting looks sick. I, I like the user interface, that looks cool. Whoop. <laughs> oh, I threw a pie at him! Classic Dead Rising. <laughs> oh, oh, the convicts! I can't hear Gonguru playing, but that's because there's music over this. But we gotta look at the convicts, so that's awesome. Please, for the love of God, have Gonguru playing. Oh! You can't get the motorcycle in that area. So, does that mean? Here at Capcom, we're no strangers to zombies. But this game takes it to another level. With a wry smile on his face, Morimoto took out his phone and showed it to us. And there it was. It's a segue to another game we're working on. <laughs> okay, I guess that's the end of the Dead Rising showcase. That was insane. That was a lot more than I was expecting. Okay, I think that is the end of the Dead Rising showcase. Um, I'm really excited for it. I think that that looked insane. That went well beyond what I was expecting. Um, holy shit. That's... This is the excitement I was looking for in the first trailer release. This is what I wanted to feel. So we got to look at like Joe, Steven, um, Adam. Larry has like a hat and glasses. He looks completely different. Um, yeah, he's not like bald. I don't know if like what he looks like and how he spoke is maybe like offensive of today's standards. I don't know. But yeah, I am super excited for this game. The lighting and like the effects and the graphics look insane. A lot of love, I don't want to speak too soon, but it looks like a lot of love is being put into this and not just doing like a Dead Rising 4. Sorry, I'm an asshole. I keep mentioning Dead Rising 4 and the downfall of it. I hate doing that. But it looks like this game is going to be a lot more promising than Dead Rising 4 turned out to be. There was one moment that I noticed as well. That was the motorcycle in, I think, the... Oh, I don't know the names of them. Either Paradise Plaza or Entrance Plaza. I think it's Paradise Plaza. The main pro plaza that you see when you walk out of the safe room. Is this still going? Oh, there we go. We're back to Dead Rising. Dead Hold on. Rising Deluxe Remaster. Dead Rising Deluxe Remastered okay, will sweet. an emergency digital launch for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series emergency X, digital. Xbox Series S, and Steam on September 19th. The Dead Rising Deluxe Remastered what the Digital fuck is Deluxe this? Edition will include additional costumes and mall background. Okay, there's going to be a lot of theorizing as to what those costumes are. That's Mega Man, I'm pretty sure. Dead Rising fans yep, there was a Chuck outfit. That's a B outfit. Included as a pre-order bonus. Pre-orders are available starting today. Okay, I'll have a di I'll have a deeper look into the Dead Rising pre-orders because yeah, that's not Dead Rising. Um, yeah, I'll have a deeper look into the Dead Rising pre-orders and see which one I want because yeah, it's it's definitely FOMO. I don't want to miss out on getting the Chuck outfit, and that's something that I didn't like about Dead Rising 3. I didn't have an Xbox at the time, so I couldn't pre-order it for the Chuck and the Frank, uh, like, day one editions, so I didn't get that, and that's annoying. So yeah, I am hoping to get the Chuck outfit, but depends on the price. That's really what it comes down to. I don't want to be, like, a stickler for money, but at the same time, $110 for a game with pre-orders is just... A little bit absurd and stupid. Um, the thing I wanted to talk about was the motorcycle in, I think, Paradise Plaza. You can't get that there in the original game. So that makes me believe that there is some way you can go from the other plaza that I don't remember the name of and drive it from point A to point B. Point B being 
entrance, uh, Paradise Plaza. Because, yeah, you, you just can't get there in the original. There's so many load times and there's so many, like, doors in the way. So if they've removed the doors, that's the only way I can think of that you can get it through the entire mall. I really hope the entire mall is, like, one loading screen, one map. There's, like, no cuts between. Also, this is being recorded, like, half an hour after the trailer. Um, just had a thought that everything in the mall will connect. This is just a theory off the cuff, but off the cuff as in half an hour when I have had time to think about it. Um, but I feel like Leisure Park was the only one that I saw that had the loading time. Maybe in between the food court and the other place, that might also have a door, I don't remember. I don't know if that door just like automatically opened or if they just got to that and then the, the next video ended. Um, but I feel like Leisure Park would be sectioned off from everything because of the convicts and you can't like get them in the food court or anything like that. You have to kind of keep them outside and separated. You can't really have them driving through the mall. So I feel like if they are going to do a big mall with no loading screens, they'll have to do that and section off Leisure Park because, yeah, you can't get the convicts inside. That's just my thought. I don't know if there are load screens between the other sections in the mall, but there was that bit with the motorbike in a section where it wasn't supposed to be, or you can't get it there in the original. So I feel like there's some there's some hope of it being all connected, but I just don't really know how. So very exciting to see though, because going from Paradise Plaza to the movie theater, there really shouldn't be a low time there. Like, I mean, it's a game from 2006. I'll let that slide. But a game from 2024. Oh shit, I didn't even realize. I didn't even see the release date. I'll have to go back to that. But a game in 2024 or 2025, I didn't see it, I forgot to look. Um, that should definitely be one big map, or at least two maps, like inside and outside. They also had the Convicts, which was really cool, but they were talking over it. Selfish, talking about their stupid game. I wanted to hear if Gone Guru was in it. Oh, are they talking about Derising again? And he was confident in this new no, it just says that he's the Dead Rising director. Oh, it's Dead Rising. <laughs> Did he just shoot on the ground? Oh, they've got little emergency signs on the ground for... Oh wait, but they're running to a door. Hopefully the door just opens and there's no loading screen between that. Imagine trying to get the door, the NPCs through a doorway. That's gonna be difficult. Nah, that just goes straight to Leisure Park. That doesn't... There's, there's a load time there. That sucks. Oh, the snipers! Cliff? We're just seeing all of the psychopaths. On the team, there was one on the bingo card that we would get. Um, we would get a new psychopath. I'm not too sure about that, but that's that would be interesting. Kent. Is that all the psychopaths? I can't think of any more. Just off the top of my head, there's Paul. Um, who else is there? Is it just Paul that we haven't seen? Was that the end? That was the end of Capcom Next Summer 2024. Holy shit, I didn't care for the other two games. Of, uh, Resident Evil Biohazard on like iPhone and iPad and that, and this game that I can't remember, uh, Kunitsugami. But Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. Holy shit. They showed every psychopath aside from Paul, I believe. Um, I don't think there was anyone else, which... Maybe, I really hope they didn't just like throw everything out too soon, um, but yeah, I really loved the showcase, that was really cool seeing all the gameplay, the gameplay was the main thing I wanted to see because yeah, the controls to, the, to today's standard are quite clunky, yeah, I might make some comparison videos, I might make videos sort of going into it further, but yeah, holy shit, this was awesome to see all the little, like the shadows and the lighting effects and the glossiness of it all, and yeah, it just looked really cool. I'm excited for it. Um, seeing the psychopaths was the main highlight for me. Yeah, that's something that's like very precious and like, oh, don't mess with that too much, but they seem to have done really well. I'm very concerned, no, I'm very intrigued to go into what Larry looked like because he looked very different, so... Yeah, I'll go into that further in a potential video, maybe. So yeah, what did you guys think of Capcom Next? Are you excited for Dead Rising as much as I am? I've done a complete 180, like I did in my last video. I was like, oh yeah, I'm a little bit hesitant, or oh, I don't like this, or oh, I'm on I'm on edge about this. Now I'm full, like, holy shit, this looks amazing. I've, like, 
yeah, completely gone around. I'm all for this game. I was never against it, to be honest, but, like, I'm way more into it than I was last time when the teaser trailer came out. So, yeah, I'm very excited to see this game, very excited to see more, very excited to go into it and, yeah, just look through... Basically, I, I missed, like, the release date and I can't imagine all the other things that I missed. So, yeah. I am really looking forward to this game, hope you guys are too, and yeah, if you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. See you later.